Hey everybody, welcome to another stream on the Kings of Consoles Twitch channel. I am Pat Dooley. I am the creator and co-host of the Kings of Consoles podcast. Uh, if this is your first time watching one of our streams and you never listen to the podcast, quick rundown before we start. Uh, the podcast is, uh, it's me and my co-host Ricky Giraldo. Uh, we took IGN's list of the 100 best games for the NES and we put them together in a bracket, March Madness style. You can see a chunk of it behind uh, below me. You can actually see more of it. Hold on, let me adjust my... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can see more of it on the whiteboard behind me. Uh, but that's probably going to be really hard, so I would suggest just going to challenge.com slash kings of consoles. Still links in the upper left corner, uh, along with all of our social media and stuff. So basically, each week on the podcast, we play two games for an hour each. We compare notes. We decide which game we like better. That game moves on to the next round. We're going to do that until we have come up with the, wait for it, king of the console Further seasons, we'll probably play, you know, Genesis, Super Nintendo, N64, PlayStation. We'll just keep going console by console until we've done them all. So we have content for decades. So you will never, ever, ever get rid of us. Uh, today's game is Astronax. Uh, the seeds are based on IGN's list of the 100 best games. Uh, Astronax is their number 97 game. But in the first round of our tournament, it upset the number 32 game, Snake, Rattle, and Roll, which in my opinion was ranked way, way, way too high and was in fact a terrible, terrible, terrible game. One of the worst ones we played in round one. Astronax was fine. It's a decent platformer. Um, and I'm going to play the second hour of it in just a moment. A uh, little bit of housekeeping before I do. You can see in the upper left corner all of the links to all of our social and all of that, uh, plus all the different platforms where you can download and subscribe and rate and review the podcast itself, uh, which really, that's what this is all about, is I just want you all to listen to the podcast, and if you want to watch me play video games while you do it, awesome. Uh, one other thing, uh, your input is very valuable because it has come up several times through the first 34 episodes of the show, where after we play each game for an hour, Ricky and I don't agree on which one is the better game. Uh, for example, he liked, uh, what was it? Whatever game it was that beat Tecmo Super Bowl. And I liked Tecmo Super Bowl because it is my favorite console game of all time. Uh, and uh, it was a tie between the two of us. And so what we typically do is we will put out polls on Facebook, on Twitter, and right here on this Twitch channel under the About tab. Uh, we will ask for your feedback. Help us break the tie. Uh, that time, the online vote was also tied, so we wound up having to flip a coin. This coin right here, a two peso coin from one of my trips to Mexico. And Tecmo Super Bowl was eliminated. Not that I'm bitter. I'm not at all bitter about my favorite console game getting knocked out in the first round. Uh, but anyway, Astronax, number 97, is up against number 33, Batman, the video game. Uh, which I will be playing right here on this stream on Friday. Uh, I will go through the upcoming schedule in a bit. Uh, you can find more of it under the schedule tab on the Twitch channel as well. And I think that's basically all I've got other than, oh, new episodes of the podcast come out every Thursday at noon Central Time. So if you're already subscribed, it'll just show up in your feed in whatever app you use. All right. So I'm going to play for an hour. Let's uh, put that timer on the screen. It's going to say time's up because I haven't reset it yet. Uh, and I'm just going to hit start on my controller. I accidentally already hit start, so it's not on the title screen. It's actually, this is like the first frame of the game. As soon as I hit start on my controller, I will hit start on the timer. You will see it'll change from time's up to counting down from an hour. When the hour is up, a buzzer will sound. I will pause the game where I am, and that'll be it. However far I get in an hour, whatever I do in an hour, that's what I have to evaluate the game on when Ricky and I get together to record. Um, I should point out Astronax doesn't have a save feature or a password option, so I can't pick up where I left off the last time we played, so I am starting literally from the beginning of the game again. Okay, I think that's all the intro we need, so start. Okay, there's a thing going by. Try to remember... Okay, yep, A jumps, B swings the, the axe. Hey, skeleton. We have brought up many, many times on the show... Oh, this is a... I forgot how weird the character designs in this were. Um, uh, NES designers really, really like skeleton-based enemies. There were so many... A lot of them are just, like, floating skulls, but here we get the 
the full skeleton. Get back here, beholder. I don't know if you're a beholder, but that's what you look like. Gosh. Yeah, that's how you do the magic. I do. Oh, and we've got our first death. 52 seconds in. Round one. Remlia. I do like on this one how, like, every time you swing, if you swing a bunch in a row, like, every subsequent swing is a little weaker than the one before, because you, like, actually get a little tired. That's just a, a unique... Uh, whoop! Mechanic. For this early of a game. So, if you've watched past streams, you know I, uh, I'm a slow starter. I do typically die a lot early, even if it's a game I've played before. I don't know why that is. Also, my ROM does that weird thing where I disappear if I take damage. Get back here. Let me axe you. Alright, well there's our first game over. That was fast. And if you guys are watching, feel free to hop into the chat and say hi. Definitely helps to feel like I'm not just, you know, shouting into the void when I'm playing these. Oh, yeah, okay, so that was a poor strategy. This is not one of those games where enemies disappear if you walk away from them. Ah, who boy. It's feeling a little bit like, uh, what was it that I just played that didn't age super well? Adventure Island. I loved the first time around, but also we played it in like episode four and we've, you know, we've been at this. Basically, since like right before the pandemic started, we our first episode was in March, which I guess at that point the pandemic had started. We just didn't know about it yet because you know reasons. Saving those special attacks for the boss at the end of the level. Nope. I have leveled up my weapon. That's exciting. I remember right, there are three levels of the weapon. life. Oh, and a giant boulder falling on my head. That's not fun. Oh, and I've also now used all of my magic. Bonk, 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 bonk. All right. I wish I had magic. Okay, so I'm supposed to hit it in the head. That's good to know. Also, not supposed to die. That one I pretty much knew. 
Oh, so I don't start back at the boss. I get to fight my way back. Dope. Okay, I know I said that facetiously, but things... Speaking of dope, things that are actually good. I had a job interview today, and it went really, really well. At least I think it went really, really well. I got the vibe that it went really, really well. So, here's hoping that, you know, I have a source of income soon so that we can continue, you know, grading the show and these streams and when this pandemic finally ends, I can actually go back to one of the three used game stores here in town and, uh, you know, buy some actual carts for these so I don't have to keep emulating all of them. Not all of them. I have a bunch, but shockingly, I don't have a copy of Astrogen Axe just laying around. But if it wins, and we play it again in the next round, and it's safe to do so, I will then go buy another one. An actual copy. Because I want to support my local stores. Small business owner myself. Oh, bollocks. So you can see on the bracket down below, whichever game comes out of this has a really stiff round three challenge against... Uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, most likely. That's the number one overall seed, and, you know, maybe the greatest game ever made. Um, but its opponent is Iron Sword, the sequel to Wizards and Warriors, which is also an excellent game that we really enjoyed playing in the first round. And put it over Stinger, which was a fine rail shooter, but we played a lot of rail shooters in round one, and I'd be okay with, you know, not. <laughs> A couple advanced, so we will be playing more. So this episode is going to come out a week, uh, uh, December 17th, so it'll be a week before Christmas Eve, if you want to plan accordingly. Also, that's another part of the reason why we stream these is because if you, you know, if you feel like you want to, you know, do your part and vote, uh, which voting is awesome, and I'm so glad you all did. Um, yay voting, yay democracy. Um, but sometimes you want to, you know, vote and you aren't familiar with what, you know, one of the candidates stands for, or in this case, what one of the games is like. So you can watch me stream it and then... Hey, look at that. Now I know. I like Astronax better than Batman, or I like Batman better than Astronax. So then, if you follow us on Twitter, and you see that poll go up, you can cast your vote confidently. And not just go straight ballot Batman. Not that there's anything wrong with going straight ballot. But, you know something something educated electorate something something watch out for the ball bonk the ball bonk 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 yeah, beat it down save all your magic because you're going to need it against the floaty head guy alright stretching my neck out <laughs> oh, that's so much easier when you have all of your magic. Round one, Remlia clear. And it refills your health. You don't have to start with what you had left. Uh-oh. That guy looks scary. Blackhorn. Caesar has been killed. Yeah, that happened like centuries ago, dude. Vermin! He was brought here by Cutie. Princess Rosebud's friend. Oh. You talk really slowly. It's hard to keep up. What? 
I put Cutie into the cell. Like, mitochondria? I'm positive. Look at this. In this world, the power of the human is strong. He must be the root of our trouble. You must destroy him. You're still going, aren't you? He cannot stop me from taking Rosebud's power. Yes, sir. See that? This guy's way scarier than the, the boss guy. Red Road. Red Road. Ooh, they're purple in this level. So are these. Okay. So we got a little palette swap action going on here. Oh, and this one can shoot projectiles. That's not a thing his blue brethren could do. Also seems like he's taking a lot more wax with the weapon than his cerulean predecessors. The music does a pretty good job of, like, making things feel intense, but that's not to say the music is good, because that is definitely not a jump I would be willing to make. Oh! Baloney. The plus side, you get to continue back from, you know, start from the very beginning of the game, looking at you, Adventure Island. Do 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 That makes those weird like key changes. Wasn't expecting that. So it lets me start back at the same level, but it then takes away my powered up weapon. So I'm having to do this with the axe instead of the whatever sword thing I had. But yeah, this music is not good. It's, you know, setting the mood they want, but definitely not anything I'm going to be, you know, humming later. Probably. I don't know. Maybe I will. I don't know what I'm going to hum later. What am I, the humming later police? Oh, I'm totally going to die, aren't I? I mean, we all die eventually, but I feel like it's a little more imminent for me. Give me health. Ooh. Power I didn't even know I had. Give me a million dollars. Why is that always the the default when you know when you're making some kind of joke about that? Like, you know. Anything else I can get you? Yeah, a million dollars. Why is it a million dollars? A million dollars isn't really all that much in, you know, modern society. We've got, you know, billionaires all over the place. I mean a million's nice, but I'm assuming you're just the mid-boss, which is why I'm not wasting my magic on you.
That is a doubly not great start. Do, 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 do. That was much worse. Road. I don't want to watch The Shining. Or the episode of The Simpsons where Marge becomes a realtor. Red room. Red room. Over there. No. Just me. This is not the most thrilling boss fight, but it seems to be working. Hooray! Okay, now an actual boss fight. I could have used my magic. Alright. Well, I guess I'm not mad at it. In a zoomie. go. Ah, oh, it's in a zoomy. Okay, don't know what you are, but you're weird looking. Gotta love a level where it's not entirely clear what's background and what's actual game surface. I'm just kidding, you don't have to. I don't. Okay, I know I'm jinxing this, but this level seems significantly easier than the last one. I 
that just vertically? Okay, I can. Do -do 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 -do. This is one of those that's annoying where it kind of bonks you on the head if you jump up and there's a platform above you. Really wish I knew what that was. The weird little creature. Or weird giant creature. Back in Azumi. Vroom vroom. Go, Astronax, go. You're in Azumi. It's funny, it definitely is kind of counterintuitive. You, like, your instinct is to just, like, hack, 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 hack until the thing is dead. But it actually rewards you because you're, like I was talking before, like, if you're doing a bunch of strokes in a row, your first one is your most powerful, and they get weaker if you do a bunch in a row. So you're better off just, like, swing, wait, swing, wait, swing, wait. Are you the mid-boss or the actual boss? Mid-boss, it looks like. And now I've used some of my... Oh, yeah, this boss. This thing's weird looking. It's like a shedding Medusa. against the pterodactyl thing. That's not a phrase you get to say every day. So it's daylight savings time. Just daylight saving time. Pet peeve of mine and I do it myself. Daylight saving time. Has that ending just messed with anybody else's internal clock? I am so tired and it's just now 7 o'clock here. I still have to get some exercise in. I haven't really done anything today. I took my wife to the chiropractor this morning. Then had a job interview. Made dinner. And now here I am hanging out with you nice folks. I'm not basically I've not left this chair other than that trip to the chiropractor and going downstairs to make dinner. Also, I told the uh, people at the interview about this channel, so maybe some of them are watching. So, hey guys, feel free to pop in the chat. They seem like really cool people. I'd be excited to work with them. I have a former coworker friend who works there now. He raves about it, so. And I don't think he's just doing it to get that sweet, sweet referral bonus, but, you know, you never know. I'm kidding, of course. I, I trust him. Thanks for the hookup, Brandon. You're awesome. 
and I'm dead. I know I made it farther than this last time. Which, and I will tonight, too. I still have 34 minutes, but it's still... It's annoying when you, like, you know you've done something. It's like, well, then I'm gonna drag myself through it again. I'm gonna make this weird spear-throwing slime woman thing. Man, woman, man, person, camera, TV. This game is how the enemies are all a little on the cheap side. There's really no way to. But you're just gonna get hit. There's no real way around it. No way to properly defend yourself, so you just gotta kinda take the hits when they come. Which then makes it more difficult when you <laughs> get to the boss. Closer, I need to bonk you. I wasn't going to survive. I think this is the first time I've made it to 
this guy with full health, so that's promising, I suppose. just makes it a little bit less fun. gonna take the hit. Face the right way, dum dum. <laughs> hey, Medic Sloan. You actually got a night off tonight, or are you joining us in between calls? Got anything exciting planned for the week, or just not having to work? Sounds like my kind of week off. We've had so much time off this year that, like, we just don't know what to do when we have, like, like, tomorrow's our anniversary. No idea what we're going to do. We honestly may just lay in bed all day and rent movies on Amazon. 
Which, I mean, is awesome. But, you know, not exactly what we imagined our ninth anniversary being like on January 1st, 2020. Thanks, Brit. And I, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking forward to it. I just feel like you know, in past years we've like gone on cruises and you know, done like actual like activities. But we also haven't been to a movie theater since, gosh, probably February. So. There have been so many movies that came out that I just don't know about. So, Plus, for us, our anniversary is kind of the unofficial start of Christmas, so probably at least one of the movies we'll watch tomorrow is Christmas. No, oh, the game's on fire. Oh, whew. Excuse me. Burped right into the microphone. That's awesome. Yeah, that's been my thing. Like, I really, really want to go. Like, there's that's just one of my favorite things is sitting in a theater or watching a movie. But it's just, I don't know. Like, I really, you know, I've been talking for the last several episodes of the podcast and a lot of streams. Like, I, I just want to go to an old game store and just, you know, kind of root around in the, you know, in the bins and see what there is. But I also, you know. There's still a whole global pandemic thing happening. Oh, now everything is green. I'll hand it to the folks over at Jalico. They are consistent. Whoops. Oh, that's awesome. I would have 100% done that. You know, before all this happened, I may have talked about this on a past year, and I may have talked about it with you, so... But there are probably people out here that weren't on for that chat. Um, we had actually talked pre-pandemic about because kind of our retirement plan from the wedding photo video thing is that we were uh is that we were gonna buy some land and open a, a venue i was like well, if we got enough land we could do a venue or we could build a drive-in theater and now i wish we had done that because we would be doing very well because drive-in movie theaters are coming back in the age of COVID. And I think that's awesome, because I love going to the drive-in. There's a great one in Lakeland, Florida we used to go to a lot when we lived down there. The Silver Moon. I mean, that's not a bad idea. You get a big enough plot, and you could do... <laughs> right. Or, like, you know, special deals if you, like, rent out the whole thing for the weekend. We can, you know, do movies as part of the bachelorette party or whatever. Or if you're, you know, for Dreaming Big, you know, it's a big, huge wedding. We could even, like, live stream it on the drive-in screens for the people that can't sit close enough for the actual ceremony. But I think that I feel like that would be really fun. We could do like you know, uh, like live sports or like you know, boxing or you know wrestling or whatever. Like big you know pay per view events. People could come out and pay, you know, rather than having to pay, you know, eighty bucks for a Floyd Mayweather fight. They can come and spend twenty and watch it with you know, one hundred and fifty of their closest friends. Oh. 
Maybe someday. Yeah. I know the one in Lakeland is doing really well. Um, friends, because they know how much I miss it. Uh, my friends that are down there will send me, like, news clippings about... Then they're doing the same thing that you're, you were talking about your theater doing. They're just doing, you know, double features of classics. They're doing, like, you know, a themed night. I think that would be fun. It would be, like, curating your own film festival every weekend. It's like, hmm. Maybe this weekend all of our movies will be... Spielberg. We were supposed to get one here in Murfreesboro. Um, they've been talking about it for a while. I thought it was supposed to go in where, like, uh, Sprouts and uh, the the new Chipotle and all of that is. Yeah, right. And find some investors willing to fork over a significant amount of cash because uh, being out of work for seven months has not been uh, super kind on the old bank account. Watch as soon as we break ground, you know, the new COVID task force will have come up with a cure. And... Okay. Did they ever actually wind up building it? Now there was also somebody was, uh, had submitted a plan for, I don't know if it ever wound up coming to fruition or getting approved or whatever, but for a, basically a mock drive-in in like downtown Nashville, where it was going to be like a dome, like a, almost like a top golf type thing. lightning and I die. Oh no, I did not mean to do magic. I mean, I guess it worked, but... Still a waste of magic before I get to the boss.
it's never clear when there's going to be an actual boss after those guys, or if that's that is the boss. I'm saving my magic for no reason. I can't see the word rent without thinking of the landlord. Remember that uh, funny or die video from like, gosh, 15 years ago? Where it's uh, Adam McKay and Will Farrell, and McKay's daughter Pearl is Will's landlord. She's like three, but she's a heavy drinker and very angry about the rent. That just always. I can't read the word rent without thinking, where's the rent? It's a very strange level. kind of counterintuitive to everything you know about platformers. Oh no! I don't know what that power-up was, but I'm sure it would be helpful right now. Okay, I got to hit this guy really fast, so I'm assuming he's a mid-boss. But he's also going to kill me. Yep, there's the actual boss. No, it was coming. Don't shoot your spiky balls at me. Alright. of myself in the video. My hairline is way farther back than I thought it was. Turning into an old man, Medic Sloan. Shoot, I did it again. Played with your heart, got lost in the game. Oh, baby, baby. I really hope whatever's in that thing is the... the blue thing that gives me health. Can't all be doing it as gracefully as you are, you handsome devil, you. My dad's a brilliant scientist. Just an absolute genius. And the one thing I got from him was his hairline. Life just ain't fair, man. I guess I got a sense of humor, too. See, I feel like I need to drop down here, but I can't. Because when you jump up... There's that health. I'm gonna drop in on the big fella. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I just 
hate using my magic knowing there's an actual boss. But what good is saving your magic if you're just going to die before you get to the boss, right? I might have access to extra spells or something. I don't. I just have the one. It's like if I have something else I can do after I run out of my fireball things, I would be much less, you know, reticent about using it. as I can. Six and a half minutes. I can do this. It's timing these jumps very poorly.
doing a little better every time. That's all we can ask for, right? Yeah, look at that. Minute 20 to go. And at least see what round four looks like. Alright, I'm sorry, I can't sit through the cinematic this time. Time to get marshy. Oh yeah, I definitely made it this far at least. I remember those things. They made some of these jumps. Please get out of my way. I'm just trying to make it as far as I can in the next 27 seconds. I mean you no harm. just killed damn I meant harm 10 9 8 all right well I made pretty good progress I think in an hour I don't know how many how many levels there are but I uh, yeah, made it to the fourth round beat three bosses and I'm proud of that I think that's pretty good um, this one, I mean, we kind of said it in round one. The reason this one advances because Snake Rattle and Roll was a bad game, like just an outright bad game. This was a fine platformer on a second playthrough. It's still fine. Nothing to write home about. Um, but it's got its moments. Uh, boss designs are pretty cool. Is it better than Batman? I guess we'll find out on Friday, right? Is that the next stream? Yes, Friday's the next stream because today is Tuesday. I have lost track of what day of the week it is. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, Friday, I'll be playing Batman. Uh, Sunday will be... Oh, I also need to update. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. Uh, Sunday, the 15th, I'll be playing Bionic Commando. And then we'll do one more week of Tuesday, Friday, Sunday next week with Wizards and Warriors, The Guardian Legend, and Bubble Bobble before we take about a week and a half off for Thanksgiving. 
Um, I'll be back for a little bit, and then we'll take... We're probably going to take most of December off uh, for the holidays, just because, you know, I may not even be home for large chunks of that, you know. And we got to go to Florida for a wedding, and then probably go see either my family or hers, and have to do the quarantine thing, because we're leaving state. But anyway, so that's Ask Gen X. Uh, you can reach out to us. Uh, you go to challenge.com slash kings of consoles. You can see the whole bracket as outlined below. Uh, you can vote in our polls on Twitter, which is at kings of consoles. Uh, I'm personally at loopy date. Uh, Ricky just changed his. It is Ricky G N seven. Uh, you can contribute to the show financially if you want to, you know, help Medic Sloan and our wives open up a wedding venue slash drive-in movie theater. Uh, you can pitch in at ko-fi.com slash kings of consoles. Uh, uh, Facebook.com slash kings of consoles. Kings of consoles pod at gmail.com. Uh, new episodes of the podcast come out every Thursday at noon central time. So episode 35 will be out this Thursday, the 12th. Uh, and that episode is going to be the l next to last episode of round one as Tetris takes on Journey to Silius. Excuse me. Daylight saving time. Messing with my internal clock, I tell you. The fact that it's been dark since like 4.30 just screws in my head. Um, so anyway, the podcast is available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, uh, Google Podcasts, Podbean, uh, iHeartRadio, basically anywhere you think you can find a podcast, we're probably there. And if we're not, let us know, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can do about that, uh, getting our RSS feed hooked up over there. Uh, yeah, so that's everything. Check back Friday for Batman, the video game, not to be confused with Batman, the breakfast cereal. Uh, and until then... Play old games. Thanks for joining, everybody.